Welcome to Learning Science Channel, a platform that provides educational videos of various concepts which will help learners in gaining and understanding different fields of science like biology, chemistry, earth science, and physics. If you are new to our channel, please click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell for more science lessons. In this video, you will learn about circulatory system. You will get information and answer the questions, what is circulatory system? You will also know the parts and functions of the circulatory system, the types of circulation, and the importance of circulatory system to one's life. So, let us begin. What is circulatory system? Circulatory system is the life support structure that nourishes your cells with nutrients from the food you eat and oxygen from the air you breathe. It can be compared to a complex arrangement of highways, avenues, and lanes connecting all the cells together into a neighborhood. Sequentially, the community of cells sustains the body to stay alive. Another name for circulatory system is the cardiovascular system. The circulatory system functions with the other body systems to deliver different materials in the body. It circulates vital elements such as oxygen and nutrients. At the same time, it also transports wastes away from the body. There are three major parts of the circulatory system. The heart, the blood vessels, and the blood. First is the heart. The heart is a hollow muscular organ about the size of your fist, which is located in the center of your chest between the lungs. It is the organ that pumps the blood throughout the body. It has four chambers with a specific task to do. The two ventricles and the two atria. The atria are the receiving chambers of the heart. The right atrium accepts blood from the body while the left atrium accepts blood from the lungs. The ventricles are the pumping chambers of the heart. The right ventricle pumps moving blood to the lungs, while the left ventricle pumps moving blood into the body. The heart has two pumps. Each pump has two chambers, the upper and lower chambers. The upper chamber is the atrium that receives blood coming from the veins. The lower chamber is the ventricle that forces the blood into the arteries. There is a valve between each atrium and ventricle to prevent the blood from flowing backwards. The valves are like one-way doors that keep the blood moving in only one direction. All of the muscle tissues of the heart do not contract at the same time. Different parts of the heart contract at different times. When the top portion contracts, the bottom part relaxes. When the bottom contracts, the top relaxes. The second major part are the blood vessels. The blood vessels 
carries the blood throughout the body. There are three types of blood vessels, the arteries, the veins, and the capillaries. Arteries carry oxygenated blood away from the heart to the cells, tissues, and organs of the body. The veins carry the oxygenated blood to the heart. And the capillaries are the smallest blood vessels in the body, connecting the smallest arteries and the smallest veins. It is the actual site where gases and nutrients are exchanged. The third major part and the last part is the blood. The blood carries the materials such as oxygen and nutrients throughout the body. So this time, let us talk about the types of circulation. We have pulmonary circulation, coronary circulation, and systemic circulation. Pulmonary circulation is the movement of blood from the heart to the lungs and back to the heart, while coronary circulation is the movement of blood through the tissues of the heart. And lastly, systemic circulation is the movement of blood from the heart and to the rest of the body except the lungs. But what is the importance of circulatory system? Without circulatory system, it is impossible to deliver oxygen and nutrients throughout our body. Oxygen and nutrients are essential to life. It is the primary materials in our blood that is pumped by the heart and carried by the blood vessels. Without these materials, life will not exist. That is why circulatory system is said to be the life support structure of the body. And it is very important to take good care of our circulatory system. We will discuss on the other video about the negative effects of not taking good care of both respiratory and circulatory system and the ways of preventing it. But for now, if you learned something on this video, please give us a like to show your appreciation. You can also comment on the comment section of what you have learned on this video. And again, if you are new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more educational videos. Thanks for watching.